morning students in this lecture which is the part 4 of plant biotechnology techniques we will be discussing some blotting techniques and specially we will be focusing on southern blotting so what is blotting blotting techniques are of three kinds southern blot northern blot and western blot the technique that involves the transfer of biomolecules like dna rna and protein on a gel to a nitrocellulose or nylon membrane is called blotting and then they are detected or identification is done with the help of probe now this blotting technique is called southern blot when the dna is transferred from gel to the membrane it is called northern blot when the rna is transferred from gel to the membrane and it is called western blot when the proteins are transferred from the gel to the membrane so this membrane can be nitrocellulose membrane or nylon membrane in this lecture we will be focusing on southern blotting which is the transfer of dna from gel on membrane so as we have already discussed in the previous lecture what is uh, agarose gel electrophoresis it is a technique to separate dna on a agarose gel so that is gel and from uh, that gel the dna is to be transferred in the membrane this is called southern blotting so the southern blotting is a laboratory technique which is used to detect a specific dna sequence in a dna sample and for this technique the dna which is extracted is first restricted with restriction enzymes so a restriction enzyme is used to cut a sample of dna into fragments which are then separated using agarose gel electrophoresis then the dna fragments are transferred out of the gel to the surface of membrane and then this is called southern blot after southern blot the fourth point says the membrane is exposed to dna probe which is labeled with a radioactive or a non radioactive probe and then the if the probe binds to the membrane we say that the probe sequence is present in the sample and this we check with the help of auto radiogram now let us discuss southern blotting in detail so southern blot as we have already discussed this is the analytical technique to detect the or identify the dna of interest or the target dna from a mixture of dna sample or a specific base sequence within a dna within a strand of dna now this technique was first of all developed by em sadan and that is why this is known as sadan blotting so the name sadan blotting is after the scientist em sadan who developed this technique in 1975 the process this process of sadan blot involves the transfer of electrophoresist separated dna fragments to a carrier membrane which is usually nitrocellulose or nylon and then it is detected with the help of probe so hybridization with the probe is done on the membrane once the dna gets transferred on the membrane now the fourth point says hybridization refers to the process of forming a double stranded dna molecule between a single stranded probe and a single stranded target dna so this we will discuss in subsequent slides the dna which is present on the membrane it is first denatured so that it gets separated and the probe which we use for hybridization it is also single stranded so once the hybridization occurs the uh, if the probe Uh, has sequence homology uh, uh, with any of the sequence of the uh, dna which is present on membrane it forms a double stranded dna this is the meaning of point 4 now point 5 says since the probe and target dna are complementary to each other the reaction is specific which helps in the detection of specific dna fragment it means that if hybridization occurs it means 
if the hybridization between probe and the target DNA occurs, it means that that sequence of probe is present in the uh, DNA which we are checking. Now, these are the detailed steps of southern blot hybridization. So, the first step is extraction of DNA which can be done from any organism using any of the techniques uh, like like um, um, uh, like CTAB method or Delapotra method. Then the second step is that once the DNA is extracted, we do uh, restriction of the DNA. This is done with the help of restriction endonucleases which are commercially available. So the second point is re restriction digestion of DNA with the help of restriction endonucleases which are used to cut high molecular weight and DNA into smaller fragments. Then third step is that after the restriction digestion, uh, the restricted digested DNA is electrophoresed using a gross gel electrophoresis and once the a gross gel electrophoresis is complete, then this, the gel in which the, electro, uh, the restricted DNA is present, it undergoes, it is processed uh, so before the separate uh, before the transfer of DNA onto the membrane. So what are the steps for this? The first step is depurination. During this step, partial depurination is done using dilute HCl, which helps uh, in transfer of DNA fragments, which helps in breaking down into smaller pieces. So it says that partial depurination is done with the help of HCl which promotes higher efficiency transfer of DNA fragments by breaking down into smaller uh, pieces. So depurination also means uh, as the term is self-explanatory depurination means that uh, the DNA is um, depurinated that a purine re residues uh, are removed from the DNA so that it, uh, it, it gets helps in the separation of DNA. Now the next step is after depurination is denaturation. So denaturation during this step the two strands of DNA will separate. So what happens that DNA is uh, denatured with a mild alkali solution such as alkaline solution of sodium hydroxide. This causes the double stranded DNA to become single stranded and then this helps or makes them suitable for hybridization with the probe. The next step after denaturation is neutralization because we have already treated the DNA with uh, with the alkaline solution and the acidic solution in depurination, uh, alkaline solution in denaturation. So the next step is neutralization. DNA is neutralized with NaCl to prevent rehybridization of the separated double stranded DNA before addition of the probe. So during neutralization, the NaCl is added to prevent rehybridization uh, re of the denatured DNA. And after this, the blotting is done. So during blotting, the denatured fragments are then transferred on a nylon or nitrocellulose membrane by placing the gel on the top of a buffer, saturated filter papers and on the top of the gel. Finally, some dry filter papers are placed on the membrane and then fragments are pulled towards the nitrocellulose membrane by capillary action. Uh, so basically in blotting technique, capillary action transfers the DNA from gel to membrane. So this is the whole setup which is kept over overnight. Mm -hmm. We will see it in photographs in subsequent slides. So after that, the membrane is then exposed to hybridization probe which is a single DNA fragment with specific sequence whose presence in the target DNA is to be determined. So after the blotting, hybridization is done with the probe and last step is your auto autoradiography. So hybridized regions are detected autoradiographically with the help of X-ray film by placing the nitrocellulose membrane in contact with the photographic film which shows the hybridized DNA molecules and the pattern of hybridization is visualized on x-ray film by autoradiography in case of 
रेडियो एक्टिव प्रोब और फ्लोरसेंट इफ द प्रोब इज फ्लोरसेंट इट इज यूज बाय द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कलर ऑन द मेम्ब्रेन इफ अ क्रोमोजेनिक डिटेक्शन मेथड इज यूज सो वट आर द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ सदर्न ब्लॉट इट इज इट हेल्प इन द आइडेंटिफाइंग स्पेसिफिक डी एन ए इन द टारगेट डी एन ए सैंपल प्रिपरेशन ऑफ आर एफ एल पी विच इज रेस्ट्रिक्शन फ्रैगमेंट लेंथ पॉलीमोर्फिजम मैप्स इट इज ऑल्सो यूज इन डी एन ए फिंगर प्रिंटिंग फॉर क्रिमिनल आइडेंटिफिकेशन फॉर वेरिएबल नंबर ऑफ टेंडम रिपीट विच इज योर वी एन टी आर हेल्प इन मैपिंग ऑफ रेस्ट्रिक्शन साइट्स एंड डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ रेस्ट्रिक्शन फ्रैगमेंट टू मेजर रिलेटिव अमाउंट्स ऑफ डिफरेंट सैम्पल सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ रेस्ट्रिक्टेड डी एन ए वी कैन मेक आउट वी कैन नो द साइज ऑफ अनोन डी एन ए सैम्पल सो दिस इज द पिक्टोरियल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द होल सदर्न ब्लॉटिंग टेक्निक विच वी हैव जस्ट डिस्कस्ड सो एज यू कैन सी हियर दैट दिस इज योर डी एन ए जेल फर्स्ट स्टेप then this is your agrose gel electrophoresis through which you make uh, first you uh, first step is you um, digestion of dna is done with the help of restriction enzymes in simple ependoc tubes and then electrophoresis is carried out in second step then the southern transfer takes place by whole setup so in this setup uh, we have a tray with buffer in which we put gel and on the gel we put nitrocellulose membrane on the nitrocellulose membrane there is a stack of paper towels so through capillary action uh, this setup is kept whole night uh, overnight uh, undisturbed so during uh, overnight time the uh, capillary action uh, the dna transfers from gel to the membrane so then we take out this membrane with the dna so this membrane has replica of dna which we check Uh, which we uh, check uh, under uh, uv trans illuminator and then this uh, you you label uh, we hybridize with the probe so that is the next step fifth step you can see that the probe uh, is seen uh, shown here with the red uh, uh, single stranded dna structure and then this membrane is washed after hybridization and if the probe Uh, hybridizes with the target dna then it will give signal on a x ray film so the x ray film is developed and we if we see some bands like this we say that this is another picture with the same description so you can see first step is your electrophoresis gel then your um, blotting paper setup southern blot setup then your um, hybridization and then the signal has come on the auto radiogram in the sixth step these are this is your auto radiogram where the dna has been is showing signal it means that the probe is present this is again another picture to show restriction digestion fragments then electrophoresis then the it is present this whole setup of southern blot then membrane has been taken out and auto radiogram has been developed so the signals have come it means that the probe is present and this is the whole southern blot setup where uh, at the bottom we have transfer buffer then we have watman paper filter a wick of watman paper filter is made then gel membrane watman paper stack paper towel and we it is kept so this whole setup is kept undisturbed for overnight so this was southern blotting technique and if the dna is instead of dna we transfer rna it is called northern blot technique and if it is uh, protein we say this is western blot technique so you can refer books of biotechnology or practical practical manuals to understand it better Thank you students now we will meet in next lecture